In this section, we're going to start talking about special types of expressions. And those are nice because they have handy little formulas that we can use to factor them. So what we're going to look at first is something called sums of cubes. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's just one thing cubed plus another thing cubed. So we have a cubed and b cubed. We're adding them together. It's a sum of cubes. And the nice formula for this is the quantity a plus b times the quantity a squared minus a b plus b squared. Okay, so that's a nice little formula for factoring a sum of two cubes. So where does this formula come from? How do we know that that's true? Well, if we want to verify it, if we want to verify this formula works, all we have to do is expand the right-hand side to get the left-hand side. Okay, so we just want to show these two sides are equal. So let's just manipulate this side to show that we get this side. So if we take this a plus b and distribute it into here, what's going to happen? Well, first, let's come down here and write this separately. So the quantity a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared, what's going to happen? Well, if we distribute the a plus b into there, we're going to have the quantity a plus b multiplied by that a squared. And then we have minus sign here, the quantity a plus b times this ab here. And then a plus sign quantity a plus b again times that b squared. Okay, so all we're doing here is we're taking this quantity a plus b and distributing it into here, multiplying by each of these three terms. And again, we're just verifying this formula here. And we're going to see examples of using it in the upcoming videos. So now we take this a squared and expand it into here, distribute it into there. So a times a squared is a cubed. b times a squared is just a squared b. What happens over here? Take this ab, distribute it into the here. Then a times ab is a squared b. And then b times ab is ab squared. Now be careful, this is going to be a minus here. So even though we have a plus sign here, we have a minus sign out here. And this minus sign affects everything in here. OK, so this minus sign affects everything in here. So be careful about that. So this minus sign affecting this entire thing is what gives us this minus sign here. And then what happens over here? Distribute the b squared, and we get ab squared, and then plus b cubed. Now, what happens when we simplify? Well, plus a squared b minus a squared b. So these guys cancel here. That's great. That's nice. What happens here? Minus ab squared plus ab squared. These guys also cancel. So we're just left with a cubed plus b cubed. All right, and that verifies that this formula works and lets us factor this type of expression here. So let's see some examples in the upcoming videos. 